majority of the DRI units in India are coal-based. In a coal-based DRI unit, non-coking coal and iron ore along with limestone or dolomite move along the length of the kiln due to its inclination and rotation. Air is blown in through shell air fans. Let's take the example of a 100 TPD DRI kiln. At present, the capacity and the number of shell air fans to be placed along the length of the kiln depends on the production capacity of the rotary kiln. These shell air fans are controlled by a single variable voltage frequency drive which drives all the motors at the same speed. Instead of having a single variable voltage frequency drive for all the shell air fans, it is suggested to have individual variable voltage frequency drives for each shell air fan, thereby reducing the total power consumed by the shell air fans. There are seven shell air fans and seven thermocouples representing the seven zones. The shell air fans are with 11 kilowatt, 2900 RPM induction motors and the variable voltage frequency drive used is of 75 kilowatt. With the installation of individual variable voltage frequency drives of 11 kilowatt, we control each shell air fan independently and they can be individually changed as per the volume required. For the purpose of automation, feedback from the individual thermocouples will be taken and corresponding speed of the shell air fans will be noted. This will form a closed loop and the feedback will be received by a PID controller. For change of temperature for the particular zone, corresponding speed of the shell air fan for that zone will be varied using a variable voltage frequency drive. Thus, changing the speed of one of the shell air fans will not affect the others. Since the power consumption is directly proportional to the volume of air delivered, there will be significant energy saving. For a 100 TPD DRI plant, installation of the automation and control system will incur a cost of approximately 20 lakh rupees. This installation can lead to a saving of 66,528 units of electricity annually. This means a monetary saving of 4.74 lakh rupees per year. Thus, the investment can be recouped within a period of four years. The installations can save 240 gigajoules of energy annually, leading to GHG emission saving of 60 tonnes of carbon dioxide per year for a 100 TPD plant.